Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be solving the lead code question slowest key. Alright, so in this question we have a newly designed keypad which was tested where a tester pressed a sequence of n keys at one at a time. You are given a string key pressed of length n where key pressed i was the ith key pressed in the testing sequence and a sorted list of uh, release times where release times i was the time the ith key was released. Both of the areas are zero index, so the zeroth key was pressed at time zero, and every subsequent key was uh, pressed exact. Okay, pressed at the exact time the previous key was released. So what does this actually mean? So in simple words, we have key pressed, and it has C B C D. So what that's telling us is first the letter C was pressed, and then B, and then C, and then D again. Okay, and now this release times is basically a cumulative, uh, the cumulative times at which uh, each key was released. So essentially C was released at the 9 second mark. So how long was C pressed for? So from 0 to 9 seconds, well that's a total of 9 seconds. So C was pressed for 9 seconds. Now how about B? So B was released at 29 seconds, okay? But now the question is, how long was B pressed for? So that's going to be, so B was pressed right after C was released. So from 9 up to 29 was when B was pressed. So in simple words, it's just 29 minus 9. B was pressed for 20 seconds. The same way C was pressed for 49 minus 29 seconds and D was pressed for 50 minus 49 seconds, which is what 1. Now the goal of this is we want to return the key of the key press that had the longest duration, okay? So whatever was pressed for the longest time, that's what we got to return. But if there are multiple such key presses, so what does that mean? So let's say there were two letters, uh, A which was pressed for 20 seconds and the letter X, which was also pressed for 20 seconds, then in that case, the value that we're going to return is going to be X because we got to return the lexicographically largest key of the key press. The question is pretty simple, and the way we're going to solve this is by just having a simple for loop. And in the beginning, we're going to initialize a time, which has a value of whatever is at the zeroth index of release times, and we're going to have a uh, another uh, uh, variable which stores the actual result or the character, and that's going to be initialized with whatever is the first character, so in this case C. So at each point, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the time a certain key was pressed for, and if it is greater than the time that already exists, we're going to swap it around, okay? And if at any point there are, like I said, there are two characters which were pressed for the same time, the larger of the two characters is going to be the actual result. Okay, cool. So let's see how we actually do this in code. It should be pretty simple. So the first thing we're storing our time, and like I said, it's going to be release times and whatever is at the zero of the index. And now we're going to have our result. So this is going to be the character. So this is going to be key pressed, but whatever is at its zero of the index. So now that we have these two values in the beginning, we're going to go in a for loop. So we can just do for index in range. We're going to start off at the value one because well, we already accounted for whatever is at the zero of the index. So we're going to start off at one and we're going to go all the way to the ending. So we can take the length of key press or release times, it doesn't matter, they both have the same length. Okay, so now inside of the for loop, we've got to find out how long was this current key press for. So let's just call that current time. And this is going to be, so we go to release times and we go to the index that we're currently on. Okay, so currently the first time it will be the first index. Now to see how long it was pressed for, it's going to be release times index minus wherever the previous uh, key was released at. So that's just going to be release times index minus release times index minus one, the previous index. So now we have the current time. So all we got to do is check if whatever the current key was pressed longer than whatever we have stored over here. Okay, now if this is true, then what happens is that this whatever is at currently over there now becomes the uh, result. So whatever character is currently pressed for that long, is the current result, okay? So result is now going to be, well, we go to key press and the, whatever index we're currently on. And the same way we got to update our time. So time is now going to be equal to current time because, well, we want to update it with the larger value. But now there's another condition that we could have, which is if current time over here is equal to time. Now, in that case, what we need to do, we don't need to update the, current, the time since, well, they're both the same. But one thing we got to do is we might have to update our result. And the result is only going to be the maximum value between whatever the current letter is, so whatever the current result is, 
and the new value that we have, which is key pressed index. So the maximum between these two, so the lexicographically larger value, is going to be selected and be stored at the result. So at the ending of this, result is going to have the value that we need, and that's what we're going to end up returning. So let's submit this, and as you can see, our submission was accepted. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and do let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.